Hey guys, welcome back. B is for Boost, and today we are working on the Civic truck. It's been a long time since we've been playing around with it. We got one car in the air, we got the Roadster over there. I'm gonna show you the Roadster and stuff. So we have the Roadster right here that we've been working on. We're starting to shave the engine bay, which will be a different video. And then we also do have uh, Johnny's SRT up in the air, but you do see that we're doing a five-speed swap on, which is a different video as well. So we've been quite busy. Being busy is not an excuse of not getting things done. So we are working on the Civic truck today so we can get this bay cleaned out. Just look at it. It's like three motors, parts everywhere. This is a paint bay, this is a disaster. We get a whiteboard right up here. So we're gonna start marking down what needs to be done on this car. And then we're gonna do the same thing to the Roadster out there. So today we are going to finish off picking out the dents in the two doors. We're gonna put a little putty on the roof that might need a spot. Before tomorrow, we need to get this trim piece so I can make this piece right here. We're gonna finish up the body work on this car. The fenders are good. The hood has to be cut when we get uh, our plasma cutter. And other than the hood, all the rest of the body work's gonna be done. Like I said, we'll get the doors done today. We'll pick out the few little dents that are in the door. We'll pick out a few little dents that are in the A pillar on the driver's side up through here. We're gonna get it all in putty. So when we reprime this roof and the driver's side quarter, we can do the doors at the same time. Now, the reason that we're gonna do that is we can get the driver's side prime, because that'll be the second coat of primer. We'll get the roof prime, which will be the second coat of primer, and we'll get the two doors prime. The doors don't need to be completely primed, and they don't need to be primed more than once, because we're not gonna be missing dents on that. So we'll get the trim popped off, we're gonna wax and grease, remove them, and then we're gonna pick out any dents that we might have missed, and then we're gonna work on it. So after that, once the doors are finished, we can pull the doors off, we can prep the jams, paint the jams, which I keep saying we're gonna do, and then we can paint uh, inside where the bumpers are gonna be, inside the fenders, because we gotta do that as well still, and then we are gonna get ready for our, our body work, obviously. So we did make a few changes of uh, game plan. I'm unsure if all this will take place before April, I'm hoping it will, but we are gonna do purple carbon fiber. We're gonna do a purple carbon fiber lip kit, we are also gonna plan on purple carbon fiber fenders. This will be the first time of me making a mold of stuff. I've overlaid carbon fiber before and never made a mold. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna tie purple carbon fiber into our headliner as well. So the engine bay is the brownish color with purple. We're gonna bring the purple out here. So I figured it'd be good to do this in purple to match the lip kit and a couple of odds and ends. And it should make it pop. So with that on the go guys, let's get the doors, wax and grease removed. Let's get some tape out. We're gonna pick out the dents and then we're gonna continue on with what we need to do on this car. Okay guys, so now what we need to do is take some tape. I got some lights going and we're gonna pick out the dents. Now, this is something that you're gonna have to look side to side and see you can see, I can see a few dents. Now, I'm gonna fix the dents. I did notice something. There's a little rust down here. I don't know if you guys can see that right down there. I'm gonna grind that after I pick out the dents. And if it's not a hole, then I'll fix it. If it is a hole, we're gonna find a door probably. So I'm gonna pick out the dents first and then I'll grind that. That's just the stop to see if any dust goes over and covers up the dents that we we're gonna see. So let's have some fun with this. So I'm not gonna get into too much of the rust repair at the bottom of this door, just because I wanna get the other side primed. 
and I'm going to pick up more of a purple rust wheel. So the purple rust wheel is this. It gets inside the rust and it, it's like a hard plastic that uh, like gets rid of the rust, like deburs it. So I'm going to do that. As you see, the door panel is still intact down here. So I'm going to get that. I'll clean up this edge. I'll sandblast that, sandblast in there. I'll bend that lip back up and this is good to go. Which means down here is good to go as well. Which means now I'll start blocking out this and getting it ready to obviously do the body work. So my plan is to only prime it the once. I'll probably prime the whole door just to get the waviness out of it. I take the door handle off, the mirror off, and then we'll get that all primed tomorrow. One thing you will notice that the fender here is not fitting and the door is rubbing. This door isn't fitted right. The door needs to come out just a little bit, which will line up with that. There's no point in doing that now because the door has to come off. Both doors come off so I can prep paint inside the doors. Fenders will come off. I'll paint inside the fenders, finish painting that frame rail, and the doors will go on for good. Same with the fenders. The hood, we're not gonna do it at the same time because we're gonna be cutting that hood anyways. So unless we get it cut before the weekend, we're gonna leave that be. So the plan is to start sanding every dent so I can back sand it all so I can get some putty on the dents block it prime both doors the hood the quarter panel or the roof and the quarter panel and that means that all the major body works had two coats of primer or it's had more than two coats but it's had you know three to four coats of high build block straight reprimed blocked again so that's what we want to get it this as straight as possible so hopefully by the weekend we've got the jams paint it doors back on start working on that interior so let's have some fun guys What you've seen I did was I granted down the rust. I checked to make sure it wasn't a hole, which it wasn't. I granted down the inside of the lip because it was a little seedy. And if it was gonna be through, I wasn't gonna do nothing with it. It's solid. I'm gonna sandblast it. I already sandblasted a little bit that was here. It wasn't much. So I sealed that up with some fiberglass. Now that that's sealed up with fiberglass, I'm going to continue doing 180 here and I'm gonna putty the spot that I have sanded to knock out the few little dents that are there. And then I'm gonna go over the whole door with some 320. So instead of you guys watching me do the same thing over and over again, I'm going to back sand it, lay some putty, and then I'll bring you guys back. For some odd reason, guys, we didn't finish the outro, so we're gonna leave it at this. We're gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna to start working on the Neon Roadster engine bay, and we're gonna finish up the putty on the Civic truck. We're gonna prime them both at the same time so we can get it painted. I do appreciate you checking me out. If you do like the channel, guys, subscribe, turn on post notifications for some more up-to-date videos. And here is two videos you should check out. We have cutting the roof off the Civic to build the truck, and we're gonna have an SRT video right here if you're into the SRTs. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one, and we'll definitely catch you on the next one.